Oh, welcome back to the homestead. I'm out here today working on this dormer again and uh, we're going to be wrapping the tent around the bottom side of it here in just a few minutes. But first I got to plug a couple of holes that are in the felt paper at the corners of the dormer and I'm going to use some flashing tape for that and then I've got to add a strip of uh, lathing at the bottom of the dormer to uh, attach the tin to. So let me show you what I'm doing. You see right here at the corner of this dormer uh, the felt paper comes down and there's just this little hole right here where the uh, ice and water shield wraps around the corner of the uh, dormer here in the front and the felt paper overlaps it. So I don't want water, if water gets behind here I don't want it to come and go through this hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these uh, two nails out here, fold this paper back and then we're going to put some flashing tape uh, around that corner and then we'll put the felt paper back over it and we'll run the uh, strip of lathing across the front. We'll do the same thing at that other corner of the dormer with the flashing tape. And then we should be ready to put some tin down. So let me go ahead and pull these nails out. Alright, so with the uh, the felt paper here pulled back, I've exposed the ice and water shield. Now I'm going to just put the flashing tape in here to seal this corner. All right, so now any water coming down here, uh, it won't hit this hole here. It'll get on top of the flashing tape, and then that'll come on down uh, below there. So, But hopefully we won't have any water getting in there in the first place. All right, I'm going to do the other side and then attach to the lathing, and we'll be ready to put some tin on. All right, let's see if this uh, piece of tin fits. All right, uh, I need to put the final trim on this side of the dormer now because once I start putting the tin on the uh, opposite side, there won't be anything to stand on to get up there and uh, it'll make it a lot harder. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, the gable trim on this uh, piece right here and finish that out. And uh, let me show you how I cut that. All right, so this is the back side of the uh, gable trim. And this is where the actual peak of the house is. Now, I had to trim off the, uh, the drip edge right there because when the other piece comes up, it'll, it'll butt up to that. So if you leave this piece of drip edge on, when your next piece of uh, gable trim comes up, it'll push it out. So you have to cut that piece off. And then uh, this is where the, the peak of the dormer is gonna be. So I cut a a tab here to bend down uh, and then the the next piece of gable rake will, will overlap on top of that 
<clears throat> so that there'll be an overlapping seam here at the uh, the very peak, and we can put a little bit of uh, sealant on that. And then there's also a piece of uh, sealant tape all the way down the the edge that you put screws in, and <clears throat> That'll attach just outside of this last rib. It'll come up over and then come down the uh, fascia board out here and give me a little kick out for the drip edge. So let me clip it on from the top and uh, get it all in place and then I'll release the sealant from the backing on the tape and screw it down. Welcome back to the homestead. I'm out here today working on this first dormer again and uh, yesterday I worked on it but I didn't get a whole lot of footage. I got the uh, metal wrapped around the bottom of the dormer and I had to uh, put the gable side of the fascia board on and we put the gable rake trim up <clears throat> and I also put the uh, first two full sheets on this side of the dormer. So today I'm going to work on uh, getting these two pieces in into the valley that have to be cut try and get those on and then see if we can put the ridge cap on this first dormer so let's get to it all right the first thing I got to do uh, to put these two pieces in that are going to land in this valley is I've got to put this uh, foam sealant tape down the valley so all I've done is uh, I've just measured back from the crease here uh, back five inches put several lines all the way up and down it and I'm gonna go ahead and run that foam tape in there and then uh, once that's in I'll be ready to start putting the tin on okay the uh, sealant tape is on now so I'm gonna go down and start bringing up the uh, tin to put it in here start screwing it down trying to get the ridge cap for the dormer put on but it's hard to get a, a measurement across there knowing exactly where it's going to fall out on that and uh, be able to get my bins to where it fits tight so <clears throat> I've gone ahead and cut the uh, end of the ridge cap and I'm just going to set it up in place and come out here on the end and go ahead and mark it and then I'll pull it down and make my cuts and bins <laughs> I've gotten the ridge cap ready to install now, but I've still got to put the uh, the seal down both sides of the ridge where the ridge cap will sit on top of it. And what I'm going to be using is this uh, breathable vent. So this, even when it's compressed, is uh, porous enough to let air come through it, but it'll stop bugs and uh, stuff from going up in there. It's like uh, some kind of a little steel wool and it's made onto a profiled foam. So what that'll do is, <clears throat> as the air heats up under this tin, uh, it'll come up to these ridges and it'll rise up to the peak. And then it'll be able to come out of these uh, sections of uh, vent here to cool the roof. And also we're gonna cut this uh, tar paper out of the peak here so that the attic will also be vented uh, so the decking will have venting on the top and bottom of it coming out of the ridge cap. And then below that, there'll be another seal with the uh, insulation. So let me get to it. All right, the uh, tar paper on the top of the ridge is cut out so the attic can vent. And the uh, vent ribs are put in. So 
all we have to do now is uh, go ahead and put the ridge cap up here and screw it down. The, uh, the ridge cap's installed and that dormer is finished. So now it's time to start working on the uh, main roof again, bringing it on over. But I think this is probably going to be it for the day. So I'm signing off. <laughs>